Hello and welcome back to another video on uh, Axure RP9. We're going to talk about how to create a card carousel with uh, a repeater, okay? Let's dive directly into it. So uh, what I'm going to do is to create basically the basics elements of the, the cards that I'm, uh, we are going to, to use for, for this carousel. So for example, we have an image, a title, uh, a content and basically uh, a button so I'm going to adjust some uh, uh, the tweak some some small stuff like padding put padding top as 24 bottom of 16 okay we do bottom padding of 40 pixel after the body and we push basically the button on the bottom of it so uh, as you can see the uh, uh, various elements are one um, after the other so uh, the shapes you know of the of the elements are one after the other so that i have always a uh, good um, spacing i'm going to cut this uh, these elements so command x and i'm going to drop sorry a uh, repeater i'm going to drop a repeater and put everything inside the repeater okay so now as you can see we have our repeater and uh, our elements that are repeated uh, in size. Of course we don't, we don't want these elements uh, on vertical but we, we want it horizontally and we want have a spacing of 16 pixels between all the elements. So uh, on columns here we're going to add a 16 pixel of uh, spacing. Now what we need, of course, we need some icons, arrow icons actually, arrow, we are going to search for arrows and we drop uh, a couple of uh, arrows, right? One left and one right, perfect. Okay, other thing that we have to do uh, is basically to uh, change the content of the of the various cards. And so interaction item loaded set text of heading equal to item item dot title. Okay, perfect. One, two, three. Great. So we are going to change uh, to title uh, one, uh, title two title uh, 3 and we add others like title 4, title 5 and title 6, right? Okay, that's perfect. Uh, so this is basically our repeater. Uh, what we have to do now is basically to use the, the arrow to move basically our repeater that is uh, containing our, um, our cards. So uh, to do so, basically we have to uh, select, for example, one of the arrow, go into in the interaction pane, add a new action that is click or tap, and uh, use the uh, widget action move. As we can see, the, there is a problem. The problem is that the repeaters cannot be moved. Okay, so this problem can be easily solved uh, in this way. Uh, this is the way that I usually use. Uh, we go on uh, in the default widget, we drop a dynamic panel on top of the repeater and basically we uh, drop the repeater inside the, the dynamic panel, right? And so as you can see, uh, this is basically uh, our uh, dynamic panel that we are going to uh, call uh, content. Okay, so this is the content basically of our carousel. So now if uh, we select the arrow and we go on click or tap and move, as you can see, now I can select the content. So I can move basically all the elements. Uh, what is the problem again here is that, of course, uh, we have to basically have this content that takes all the, um, all the elements of uh, our repeater and to do so we have just to uh, check this option that is fit to content. Okay, that's perfect. Now, of course, we need a sort of mask that will show us only the uh, 
cars that we want to show basically we want to um, uh, to see one two three for example and uh, in this case we use what again a dynamic panel we do exactly the same thing as before but in this case okay uh, we take the content dynamic panel and we drop it inside and we call this as carousel why I did this because as we as we know uh, the arrow doesn't give us the possibility to move the repeaters itself so we have to put basically our repeater inside the con uh, dynamic panel that takes all the um, all the uh, width of the repeater itself uh, so that we can move this uh, this uh, dynamic panel and after we use uh, another dynamic panel on top of it to create just a mask okay now if we we take a, we use the arrow and we go on the interaction pane we again we go on the click or tap and we move what the content okay the content by how many how many pixels we have to move uh, on the x we have to move it of one element at a time and to do so we just have to new the max uh, width of our card in this case if we, we are going to see it's a 300 pixels that's perfect okay so we know that it's a 300 pixels but we have to add on the 300 pixels the 16 pixels of spacing of padding that we we put basically uh, between the the elements so basically what we're going to do again it's interaction content by 360 okay 360 pixel but now we are selecting the right arrow right so it means that as we think as a, as a swipe, okay, on a tablet, the arrow right basically will show us what is on the right. So it moves to the left. In fact, uh, if we go on the left, it's uh, a minus, and if we go on the right, it's a plus. So we have to move it by minus 360 pixels, okay? We're going to take the same action and we put it on the left, arrow and uh, the movement will be by plus 360 let's preview it okay on click oh we see uh, these are changing uh, there is no for the moment there is no movement we are going to add it because otherwise we are not going to see it really uh, in the best way we add so basically uh, an animation is out cubic of 350 milliseconds and same here uh, is uh, out cubic of 350 milliseconds so and let's go again on preview to see what happened oh yes so now we see uh, the movement of, of the cards right so what is the problem here now uh, of course uh, this is working very well okay as interaction and everything but as we can see if we continue to click okay the elements continue to move because we don't have uh, a sort of um, stops that tell us okay arrived to the element one uh, stop it and arrived to the element six stop it okay so to do so that's really easy what we have to do is just to add boundaries, okay? Boundaries are critical to do this kind of elements like for sliders or something like that. So it's really, really important to have this. So on click, basically, on the more option here, as you can see, we are going to add bounds, right? If I add a new boundary, the bounds since I'm talking about the um, arrow right, so we're moving the, um, the content to the left, I have to put a bounds right that should be greater than how much. How much is really simple. Uh, we have to, um, to see what is the, the width of our um, carousel mask. What, how, how much is the width in pixels of our carousel mask? It's 900, 900 40 pixels so what I'm going to, to do 
here is to add the boundaries of 940 pixels. Okay. On the left, instead, we have to do what kind of boundaries on the left should be not less than zero. Done. If we go in preview, so first thing, we go left, it doesn't work. So this is good. If we go right and we move and we arrive, as you can see at, this, on the, at the last one, if we click, it doesn't move. And that's, that's perfect what we wanted, right? Uh, voila, so this uh, video is finished. I hope you liked it. Uh, please smash the like button. Click on the bell to have news on my new uh, videos. Uh, sometimes are in Italian, sometimes are in English. So you will see. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.